We speak cowboy. River Phoenix. What's up, Unfazed Crew? Today we're at Hunt's Tomb, which is this weird pyramid at the top of a hill that uh, Ben and I have both seen all our lives, but neither of us have been to. It's one of those things you drive past, but it's just like just far enough out that you're like, nah, maybe next time. But today we're actually here, and I'm just reading from Wikipedia right now. It's a tomb in the shape of a small white pyramid, which it is, I can confirm, behind a fence at the top of a hill within Papago Park, Arizona, which we are in right now. Um, it was built by Governor George W.P. Hunt, who had the tomb built in 1931 to entomb his wife originally. And he was placed there afterwards uh, when he died in 1934, and subsequently their daughters and his wife's family are also buried there. And a little bit of interesting information about this guy. Uh, he was a friend of the common man and a foe of the railroad and mining trusts, which he called coyotes and skunks, so he was a man of the people. And uh, plaques on his pyramid, which we'll read up there in a moment, declare that he was a descendant of an unnamed Revolutionary War patriot. So a lot of oogie boogie stuff about this guy. Uh, that he allowed he allowed women to vote in his state eight years before the rest of the country, which is very obviously progressive. Um, and that he was elected governor seven times, which set a national record. So this guy was very well loved. And um, there's a lot of people up there right now paying their respects. I guess this guy's sort of a local hero. So we're gonna find out more when we get up there. Here we are, making our way up the hill. Look at that amazing sunset out there, absolutely gorgeous. And here we are, almost falling, almost dying, catching ourselves. Do you think we're gonna find the treasure in the tomb? Most definitely. How do we unlock it? We just need to find the other half of the cross. <laughs> There's supposed to be a key inside. I think it's a Lutheran cross, actually. It dates back to the 12th century. <laughs> All right, so here we are at the actual pyramid and burial site. It looks, it looks a little Greek and then obviously a little Egyptian. It almost looks Masonic. It does. I don't know why that is exactly, but. Whew, gotta catch my breath. That was a little bit of a trek up here. <laughs> so the entombment of George W.P. Hunt, born 1859, died 1934. Wiley Paul, that's the W.P. Yeah, Wiley Paul, he's a Wiley man. <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful pyramid where many people are encased. A total of eight people. Yeah, amazing. Um, obviously him and his wife, his parents, uh, his sister, and then the daughter of George and Helen. Yeah, so it looks like his two daughters. So, so eight, yeah. eight, eight people all together? Yeah. Or, I think so. Daughter of George and Hunt. George, Helen, Frederick, Jesse, Frost. Wash, I'm sorry, Jesse, Susan, other Susan, Frederick, William, so seven seven people? Yeah. That's amazing. Very cool, there's a lot of yeah. people in there. I wonder what it looks like inside. That's obviously um, the big question. That'd be right? amazing, yeah. yeah. That would be amazing. All right, now that I've caught my breath. Entombment of George W.P. Hunt and Company. Born 1859, died 1934. Decent run, right? Colorful Arizona pioneer and statesman, member of various territorial legislatures, President, Arizona Constitutional Convention, 1910. Elected Arizona's first, second, third, sixth, seventh, eighth, and tenth governor to set a national record. Also entombed here are his wife, Duet. Is that what it says? Duet? Her parents, the J.W. Ellisons, and her sister, Lena Ellison. Gift of Arizona School, Children and Friends, 1968. That's the one. Wow, so they put the pyramid in long after they were gone. 
Yeah, that's, that is weird. I thought it was like an eccentric demand. The door looks older. It's like this old iron door. That's why I would love to go in there, man. I, know, right? I feel like it's like there's like these like torches you could light, and then they're all like <laughs> in there with crowns and grails. You I'm know? looking online right now, and it's really hard to find any images of the inside. So huh. I don't know. I just it's a genuine mystery. Good thing we brought a crowbar. <laughs> really amazing. Yeah, the scale of this. I mean, obviously you guys can tell it's probably. What would you say, 20 feet tall? Yeah, easily, yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. George W. P. Hunt. Descendant of Revolutionary War Patriot John Christian. Very interesting. After Arizona achieved statehood in 1912, the women of Arizona, supported by Governor Hunt, gained the right to vote in any election or on any question submitted to the people. Marker placed by Governor George W. P. Hunt, Chapter Daughters of the American Revolution, 2004. He was also a snappy dresser. So anyway, it was cool. Um, not exactly what I expected. I expected a little more mystery and less people. I was, I was kind of disappointed so many people were up there. But what was kind of interesting to learn was that the pyramid was uh, put on top of the graves like 25, 30 years after the people had already been gone. We always so, thought it was something that he specifically wanted. Yeah, I thought, we thought he was it was weird this for this eccentric yeah. governor, you know, out in the <laughs> boonies that was like, I demand a pyramid. But uh, anyway, hope you liked Egypt. You know? Maybe he thinks it's tacky. Maybe he hates it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but either way, I'm glad we checked it out. Pretty cool experience. Me too. I like the site of the park. And fun fact, we're like 100 yards away from the zoo, from the Phoenix Zoo. Ooh. So lions and tigers and bears all my. Very true. You know? Anyway, good experience, guys. Remain unfazed. And thanks for watching. Who's hungry? R.I.P. Mr. Petersburg. Sushi! Ah. Sushi! <laughs>